Greetings, everyone. I'm one hamster. I'm M4. Yeah. And uh, apparently Chacha wants to speak to us. Too bad. No, I'll talk to him. It's actually kind of a, a, a thing. Also, I'm using uh, this you're... thing again, again, but I've uh, upgraded with some critical. So now I have 20% critical. Not bad. No. Um, yeah, this is something you can do really early on. And I'm using Sword and Shield. And, uh, and the whole point of talking to him, when, when it lights up green, it means pretty much his inventory... He, he has a lot of items in his inventory and wants you to start picking them up. Doesn't mean right. it's full. I don't think so. At least. But as you can see, he has a lot of items. No reason to let him hold on to them. Well, I, I kind of want those items for myself. And uh, he learned some things. Great. And as you can see, I've been doing stuff with Chacha, and he's been leveling up, so he's got some better stats. I like that. Also means that uh, because he leveled up, I can uh, teach him some new abilities, customize them a little bit better, and that's that's a good thing. Still can't do anything with the dances. So, uh... Oh, but at least you don't have to keep using the, you know, terrible fire attack. Mm -hmm. No, uh, instead I'm actually going to choose something else. I'm going to choose... I think it's ice or water. Um, let's see what I end up with. It's like, I remember, okay, ice. Yeah, so... Um, I'll, I'll get into why, why I'm using ice. 20 ice Pecco. element. Yeah. 20 ice element, that's really not much. Yeah, those aren't really helpful. Yeah, that's... That's, uh... It's not really any damage. Uh, considering elemental weapons will usually give you at least 120, 150 as a beginner weapon. Right. But at this point of the game, we don't really have access to elemental weapons. And I'll get into that a little bit. But for now, let's go for some spicy sausage and some authority meat, apparently. Nothing really f too fresh. Yeah, not the best selection. No, um, basically I think I know why I'm choosing two meats. Just, it, it is for the extra, extra health. Uh-huh. The health health boost. Mm hmm I think, uh, it gives me a, uh, medium boost of health. I believe you are correct. And a feline horn blower. Decrease the chance of horns breaking, but I shouldn't be using horns in single player because it does leave me prone and open for attack. Yeah, it's not really good. They're not that great even in multiplayer, really. Well, actually a regular horn is decent in multiplayer for saving somebody's bacon. Right. Even then, you should probably just bring like powders. And, uh, and it's that uh, quest again. It's that quest text that we complain so much about multiplayer. Yeah, it's still just as silly. It's still just as revolting and <laughs> horrifying. I, I don't want to know what she does Such with Heko while we're not looking. Such a saucy wyvern. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll stick with fighting Ian Kutku, please. Too bad. That guy's Some adorable, kind of at least. Uh, but no. He's just, he's just better at pretending. Yeah, but this one is just a pretender. He's a poser, literally. That's pretty much his trick. Yeah, yeah. And we'll uh, we'll we'll show that off in a little bit. For now, buff up and uh, head out. So uh, while recording this, I did one mistake. Only I one. forgot where he starts because of the cutscene. Oh. First time you see them. So he does uh, actually just start in an odd place. He starts in eight. Normally he starts in four, so I went straight to four, but you know, I cut all that out. Right. That's why I was cut out to me being out in the desert. He doesn't really go to eight all that often normally, so mm -hmm. We're not on a jaggy hunt. That was Kuropeko, or for short, we most people just call him Peko. Of course. Huh. Um. So the 
gimmick with this uh, bird wyvern is, as you could hear, he uh, did some very distinct roars, and as you might remember, uh, NPCs have mentioned the Kuropeko several times, and um, about him mimicking other animals a calls. Yep, that's that's his whole gimmick. So, I guess let's start off with the basics. Kuropeko, he is weak to water and ice, which is kind of why I gave uh, Chacha ice element. I couldn't really remember what, what he was weakest to, so I just like, ah, screw ice. And there you'll see him making a call. A recognizable call. Mm -hmm. uh, so, when he does a call, you see his red chest puffs up. If you can, uh, if you can hit that, uh, and and flinch him while he's doing that, you can actually get a shiny from that. You'll you'll knock him to the ground, he'll run away from you, startled, and, and then he drops a shiny. Pretty good. Indeed. And plus, that is his. Uh, as in most video games that have a big bright red area, not red, but yes, a red area. No. Uh, <laughs> Big Delicious. bright red area, uh, then that is the weak spot. Other things would be, um, I guess we should, uh, well, yeah, yeah, why not? Um, breakable parts of him, you see those big black claws on his, uh, wings? Those can be broken off, and his beak can be broken. I don't exactly remember what, like, breakable paws off will do, but I believe it's, like, it does less fire damage to you or something like that. Always useful. Probably. Or it has something to do with the burning damage he does when he does his special attack. And the beak, if you break the beak, it mess up some of his calls. Now these are the types of calls he has. He can call for aid of small monsters. He can right. call for aid of large monsters. And sometimes, if there are no large monsters on the map, he can spawn large monsters. And it'll be like randomly what large monster he calls it. Yeah, Sometimes it could be something really atrocious. It's it's a good thing that they start this first one with the Jaggy already on the map yeah. for you. So he will always call for the Great Jaggy. There are some really nasty things like Wrath he can call for, and then whatever is worse. Oh, we had some fun with that in multiplayer. Yeah. Um, also in multiplayer, his call is twice as fast. Oh, terrible. Like, you're not going to have any luck stopping his call. The other no. song, I, I guess, I, you know what, I'm going to call him buff songs because he can heal, he can buff his attack, he can buff his defense, but if his beak is broken, or you flinch him as he's doing one of these songs, instead of him receiving these things, you'll get it. Yes, and that's pretty useful. Mm -hmm. He's uh, like a hunting horn again. Yeah. But it's kind of hard to hit the head because uh, it's so high up. Uh, basically, the time you can really hit the head is when he lands and his head is down low or when he's flying. It's like your best chances. Which is a bit odd, but hey, make what you can get. Also, that spit attack that you see there will actually give you a nasty debuff. It will make you take more damage from fire. It's really not fun. No, he does have fire attack, so it's already pretty nasty. Well, for a beginner monster, and well, also yes, for a beginner monster through the zone. <laughs> oh, zone lines. Mm -hmm. Um. So the reason why I chose sword and shield in this setup here is because you know I'll uh, I, I figured I'd demonstrate the sword and shield's uh, item use capabilities, and the fact that I could just bam trap like that because of the speed setup. That is definitely useful. And I didn't even have to put my weapon away. On top of that, I, I brought some bombs. It's gonna be a good time. Though, I forgot about the whole shield thing since I'm still not used to it. And I run into my own explosion. On <laughs> Congratulations. So, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. I, I do really badly in this fight. I, I'll that would explain why the video is so long. Oh, and what you saw right there is you can interrupt his uh, calls with a sonic bomb. Very nice. If he's doing a buff or a healing song, you can get him to... I believe, I believe with the sonic bomb, you can flinch him to the point where he's... Uh, he'll drop shiny for you. But only that one. 
Uh, also, another reason why I've, I've brought Sword and Shield for this is because it's the only weapon I can get green sharpness with at this point. And it's only like a little sliver. And I was right. looking to break the claws, so I'm spending so much time and trying to put so much effort into breaking the, the claws just to show a claw break or something that it just ends up going bad, taking way more time than it should. Oh well. Yeah. Um, I, I honestly, how Billy is. But it's not that big of an issue because multiplayer, we do definitely get every break on every monster so far, at the very least. Right. With a group, it's a lot easier to yeah get people on separate things and have them all broken. Mm -hmm. Like you can you can play to the party strength, but one person can bring lance to reach some of the higher spots. Another person can bring the head. Uh, uh, not the head. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I was gonna say that they could bring the hammer and right. focus on the head, and so on. Like me being a switch act user, I can always go for the tail and reach it without any problem at all. So, right, we played our strength and we worked together as a team. Sometimes. And uh, here's a nice little thing that he actually also does. He was about to go fish for food because he was exhausted and hungry, and that's what uh, Peko does when he's hungry goes and tries to fish for food. Though usually it's kind of a rare thing to see him do in the middle of a fight because usually you'll enrage him. Indeed. And He's gonna spend a lot of time enraged only because he doesn't have a big health bar. He really doesn't have a lot of health. He's, he, again, he's still a beginner monster. It's just because I do badly and uh, I'm using Sword and Shield that'll take extra time. Right. Oh, you even got stunned. Yeah, I know. It's, it's really shameful. <laughs> tisk tisk. I know. Now, when I was done with this fight, I, I brought a hammer and just farmed the hell out of him. And like, yeah, under five minute fights. Oh, absolutely. Just, just crush him. Uh, honestly, though, I really should have just redone the fight. I really should have, but I made the mistake. Ah, uh, that's no fun. I, I made the mistake of saving too, so it's like no. The Monster Hunter's game where if you save, it's not good for the LP because well, you won't get the little intro video and uh, and it'll say completed, right. and there'll be NPCs that you'll have talked to. Yeah, not that good. So uh, I, I, I kind of had to make myself. You fail sometimes, too. Well, I don't actually fail as, like, I, I lose the mission or anything, but I still oh, do. Geez, that, would, that would be really shameful. Yeah, no. I, if I did that, then I would do something like, uh, oh man, I can do this mission, and <laughs> and then jump cut to where I, I, I lose the mission. Okay, let's do it for real this time. Take out. Yeah, I, I would do a fake out. How dare you? Well, that is if I actually lost the mission and, and did really good afterwards. You would sacrifice your LP integrity? Yeah, yeah, I would do that. I mean, I did die to blank. <laughs> True, what integrity could you have left? Yeah, well... Um, well, that was back in the days when I still... I'm, I, I'd say I'm middle of the road now. I'm, I'm fairly average. You've got some practice in. <laughs> I, I got a few hundred hours of practice in. I'm I'm pretty average. <laughs> that's actually the, the, the that's the sad thing, the scary thing about Monster Hunter. After about five or seven hundred hours, of Monster Hunter, you'll be average in the game. Yeah, I had I don't have quite as much of a record as you, but I only mastered one weapon, so. <laughs> I've, I've been mastering multiple weapons, but there are certain weapons I'm a lot better at. Right, of course. Just ones that click with you. Uh, the lance, uh, just because of the whole Freedom Unite thing, I got really good at the lance. I, granted, I was using gun lance, but it's more or less the same mechanic. And. Uh, a shame about the gun lance, but it was still cool. No, the gun lance will be better in the Try Ultimate. Oh, well, I sure hope so. Well, if they don't fix the glaring issues with it, that'll be a real disappointment. Well, as far as I understand, it's pretty much the same gun lance as uh, third portable. 
that one got fixed. Right. Same with. Oh, hey. Yeah, I got my shiny. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I wanted that thing. And as you can see, whenever there's a color, that's when he is using the buff song. That would be an attack buff. No, that was uh, that was orange color, so that would be defense. Oh, orange? It looked red to me. Yeah, orange for defense, red for attack, and green for health. Right. And the thing is, he doesn't just buff himself, he buffs every monster in the air. That's right, that Renoblos now has extra defense. And if there was a Wrath in the area, or a Great Jaggy, he'd get it too. Or, or he who shall not be named. Yeah. Because the single player. <laughs> yeah. The monster that is not in single player. Uh, uh, oh boy. Uh, that guy's a jerk. Also, bounce bombs. I only got a couple off though, but screw it. <laughs> I, ha I have fun with bounce bombs. They they're not very useful, but they're fun to use. Damn it. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. They're. Not helpful, but they're they're, they're basically like small barrel bombs that fly upwards. They're, as I said, they're fun to use, but not very useful. Also because 99% of the time it's very situational, and most of the time it's going to miss. I think I only hit with two of them. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, jump cut. Yeah, jump cut. Uh, very fancy. It be magic. Yep. But, you know, backtracking all the way back and forward. Eh, not that exciting. Plus, I get items. Yay. I love items. So, you know. <laughs> Especially the hot and cold drinks, because you get to keep them. Yeah, uh, plus they give them to you like candy in the desert and areas like that. So, you, you, always, uh, you always end up with like a stock of like a couple stacks of... of yeah, you never need to buy them, ever. No, they just give you... Yeah to you in every mission. You get more than you need for free, and it just builds up, because you get to keep the extras. No, Chatter, what are you doing? Oh, startled monster. I was hoping I could... I could catch him unaware. Chacha is not sneaky. No. At least the cats were sneaky in Freedom of Night. Oh. Yeah, if you crouched down, they'd crouch down immediately, too. And they'd go up to you and try to stealth you. But no, Chacha just does his own thing. Now, I, I was hoping that because he was going to this area, he was going to go fish and I could show that off properly, but no. <sighs> Chacha, you ruined everything. He's a plague. A plague. Boy, blunder. Really, the best reason to have him around is just because he's another target for the monsters. It, it really is. He's a, he's a health sponge. Yep, he... Distracts monsters so you can poke at their backs a bit. And they're not trying to murder you. No, oh, I, sh I should actually just reverse that and say he's a damage bug, not a health bug. I don't want to give monsters health. Oh no. Of course not. I essentially, I guess he's also a health sponge because he can heal you. Right. But Definitely more of a damage bug, though. Yeah, he, he's really there to distract the monster, to simulate having another player with him. Right. Which is kind of the whole reason why they added like the, uh, the feline comrades in the second generation of Monster Hunter. Just you know, it was to simulate the uh, the multiplayer experience a little bit by having right. somebody distract the monster for you. Just even if it was just for a little bit. Yep, and it meant some of the things that were designed more specifically for multiple players could still be put in the single player campaign. Exactly. Um, and I kind of like that addition. So, you know, even though Chach is kind of worthless, he's still useful to an extent. Like, he still serves his purpose. Yeah. I, I he's might, just not meant to be that useful. I might rag on how I beat Chacha. Also, the Redoblos broke uh, a flint there. That's... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sm small monster breaks. This always happens to me for some reason. Like the uh, the Diablos that broke the... Uh, yeah. A, yeah. The, the Cephalos was the best one. Yeah. I'm not going to top that. Cephalos MVP. <laughs> oh, dear. Really, though, the reason I hate Cha Cha isn't because of him being useless. It's because he's annoying. Yeah. His attitude frustrates me greatly. He's just... He's really obnoxious, and there's things that Chacha does that annoys me as well. Like the whole me trying to be sneaky and hoping, oh man, I can get this large monster to go fish. But then Chacha goes over to him and just, ah, no, Chacha, why? 
Yep. At least he doesn't blow you up. No. Well, I can make him blow me up. Trust me. Yeah, you can, but it's a lot harder to get. It's not something that'll just happen because you have it. No, it's it's an end game mask. I can show people when I get it. It it's a pretty hilarious mask. It is. Some some of you might already know what we're, what kind of mask it is when you when you give it a little bit more thought. But for those of you who don't know what it is, uh, you know when I get it, I'll do a little explaining. <laughs> I won't need much explaining, just well, show it in action. people who didn't watch Freedom, you know. Well, okay, that too. They, they might need some explaining there. Uh, sure I, I didn't forget to get, you know, show off. Uh, well, I tried to show it off. I, I kind of almost forgot about it, but Chacha's enraged, so he doesn't want to take his pink liver. <laughs> uh, no, he's quite annoyed right now. Basically, the, the pink liver item is like buff food for Cha-Cha. Liver items. That also, he just needed one hit to die. Uh, I only, and I only got one flint break. Shameful. Hey, better than nothing. You didn't even do it yourself, either. You just got no. the Renob to do it. Yeah, uh, I, at, at, that, at that point, I just kind of like given up on it. The uh, flint <laughs> breaks and just like, you know, I'm going to do this proper. Uh, I, I tried this again afterwards, and yeah, I did a 10 minute fight with Peiko in the Sword and Shield because I just, you know, I, I started not going for breaks and just playing the game properly. Right. And and it went so much smoother. I, I, I really should have re-recorded if I hadn't screwed up with my saves. Yeah, cha is frustratingly good at blocking kicks, too. Mm -hmm. The cats were never that good at blocking well, them. Well, it depends on how much defense you gave the cats. If this is true, but their defense I mean, all the way, they block almost everything. This is pretty much just starting out with Cha Cha, though, and he'll still block kicks most of the time. I know. Ah, well, again, which is why he's good as a damage sponge. Ah, you ah. shouldn't block when you're attacking him, only when monsters are attacking yeah, him. Yeah, I should be allowed to punish His minions should be allowed to punish him. <laughs> That's what he calls me, his minion. Yeah. Jerk. Uh, I'm next to the next to the. You know what? Next to the 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 guildie that gives you the quests. I think I need the guild <laughs> more, to be honest. Really? Yeah, because Cha Cha will at least keep me alive. The guildie. I think a lot of the the guildie stuff is kind of funny. Cha Cha's just kind of a jerk. Yeah, well, but but the guildie mooches off of me. God damn it. She actually she, doesn't she really do, do any work. She just she just kind of sits there. She has to, you know, receive and send letters. She's such a, you know, tough job. Mm -hmm. And uh, already he's uh, got a new idea for a new mask. I'd say it's probably one of the more useful masks. Also pretty funny. Yeah. And uh, also something to note, every time you switch in mask, it changes his personality of how he acts. <laughs> so, oh uh, yes, some of them are very entertaining for that reason alone. Mm -hmm. So while we say Chacha is obnoxious, occasionally he can be pretty amusing. Right, but he's always the same in town. Yeah. Which is annoying. Uh, but yeah, uh, Chacha. Well, he is a kid, I guess. So. Again, why I called him Boy, boy Blunder. Uh, <laughs> uh what's that, uh... Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna, we're gonna spend a few moments, you know, just chilling, relaxing, talk to some NPCs, get some, uh, delicious text. Because most people just skip by these things anyways. I think the only one I really... The one's things I skipped is just the... Uh, the guildy saying... Oh man, I got some quests. You should pick a quest, or <laughs> or the text of Chacha going like, I can get really angry and rage, and then I won't do any regular attacks. This is things I'll just get to just already explain. The more interesting people to talk to, what they have to say is usually just the random NPCs or the village elder. You know, they will give you advice that you probably wouldn't have thought to look for. Yeah, they tend to talk about monsters, actually, which is useful. Yeah, they'll even give you, like, hints of their weaknesses, what you can do. Like, it's it's actually surprisingly um, helpful. 
Yeah. Also, now uh, Pecos can be found on the island. Exciting. Yeah, so I can go free hunt. And uh, guess what? They got they got level two commodities. Oh boy. Yeah, I want those. Also, sadly, I need more items for the fluffy mask. I I need uh, more feathers. Just one, just uh, one feather. Yeah, unfortunately. And and you know, it's usually the scales we can't get from Peko. Uh, don't even talk about Peko scales. Oh, don't worry. I I had the Peko scale curse during this let's play when I had to make the armor myself and the bowgun. <laughs> Spoiler: I'll make the Peko bowgun show it off. The scales, the scales. <laughs> Best way to get them is through carves. Don't try any other way. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I think that was part of our problem. Yeah, it was. And uh, he explained a little bit about decorations, but to be honest, I already kind of showed off the decorations uh, early. Yeah, it's not like it just unlocks the ability to do them now, it's just he first explains them now. Yeah. Uh, well, new players at this point won't even have touched decorations, so it's probably good right. that they have not talk about them. That's exactly why he does it. Mm hmm So, you know, I, I wouldn't have minded a little earlier. Uh, but I yeah, guess they don't, don't really want to. I guess point. they don't want to pile everything on at one, you know, all in one go. But the fishing fleet generally doesn't have anything new to say, unfortunately. Aye. Well, I guess this guy has something new. It's usually the captain that'll have something new to say. The others right. just kind of there. But as they need, as are not need, but as they say, they need some Royal Ludwig parts to uh, repair their fishing fleet. Well, Indeed. one of the boats. So that means I'll get another boat I can send out to places. This is pretty handy. This is basically another upgrade for the general idea of, like, the farm. I I'd still consider the boats, while it's a separate part of the farm, it's kind of a farm. Because they can Yeah, fish. pretty much. They take a certain amount of time, and they bring, and then you get stuff from you them. You either get money items that you can sell for money, or you get, uh, well, fish that you can use for all kinds of things. Or get more uh, farm points. Yep. Uh, that's pretty much the biggest use for the fishing fleet. The fishing fleet is amazingly good if you're a bow gunner, though, just because of how many fish you're going to be burning through. Oh yeah, you're going to need those that ammo, all of the am fish for ammo. Uh, ooh, pin tuna as well, not just a uh, burst arowana or bomb. Oh, man, a bombs. good variety. They use a lot of different kinds of fish depending mm -hmm. on the ammo type. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I I figured that out pretty quickly while while uh, doing some of my. Re recent recordings of the four star missions but you know I'll uh, explain that for another time also I got another cat for the farm excellent oh boy also he, apparently he literally likes grains yeah. or maybe he's making a zombie joke maybe both who knows and uh, apparently they uh, make wholly organic food no pesticides would want toadstool pesticide on my food anyway. Oh, yeah. Gross. I I don't want to get the poison status. Then exactly. I'd have to go back to the bed and rest. Yes, yeah, sleeping cures everything, even if you're on fire. Yeah, that's kind of a funny thing. It, it'll generally wear off before you get to sleep, but, you know, you can, in theory, make it to the bed in certain places while you're on fire. Yep. It's always so hard picking a name. But, Rhubarb's pretty good. Yeah. I like how it's basically just spices, vegetables, and plants, but they change a little bit of it, so it's kinda, but not really. And some of them are just full out. Yeah, we didn't care. Pretty much. I think he's probably got the best list of names just for that reason, though. Yeah. Well, actually, they all have the same list of names. Oh, well, right. Your pig has a different list of names, is what I was thinking. Yeah, I think the pig has the best list of names. He's got some good ones in there. Yeah. Like, uh, Dr. Ham's. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, the the dude has some pretty good naming. I I wish though in like the previous generations, you could just cycle through names for for your cats or just rename them or something. Right. Instead of just it once. being randomly named and then you buy that cat because oh no. Uh, there you don't so much care for the name though. But while I was doing my let's play of Freedom Night. Uh, I, I did like a voting thing on, on which one they should choose out of the list. 
Yeah, that didn't go so well, did it? No, because I ended up going like, uh, you know what? I'll I'll roll a dice and choose something, or you know. But then, then the moment I did that and I had saved it, people decided to choose a name, and I was like, oh no, well, let me cycle through names randomly for a couple of days to see if I could find this one name. Guess what? I never found it. Of course not. They yeah. actually had a really big list of names to choose from. Yeah, they had a huge list of names. Uh, but it didn't work in your favor, though. No, it, it really didn't. <laughs> uh, uh, and she's not going to say anything new to me. Nothing exciting. No. Nothing new. All of the puns. Yeah. Pun lady. I, I kind of have to talk to her. Just because. Is that a principle? Just yeah. to record her puns? Yeah. It, it, I'm sure somebody... <laughs> loves this character because man, man these puns they're so painful that's why they're so great exactly ah oh. pigment of your imagination oh jeez oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they are pretty well onto the so bad they're funny yeah but i hate puns i really hate puns well that's not helping anything is it no also hi 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 guild sweetheart i hate you guildy go die and and see that that's what I'm talking about. She's mooching. Oh, these snacks? Totally not yours. Nope. Mm. Uh, they're all gone now. You can't have any. Yeah. Totally not for you. Nope. Uh. Oh yeah, totally. I hate junk food. Mm hmm. Of course. Making up excuses. And you know she still got more. And she's still gonna keep eating more. Oh yeah, she probably saved most of them. Hasn't even finished she, half. No, uh, she she probably just quickly put them under the counter and just like, nope, oh, they're all gone. Nope. <sighs> in, in fact, that's kind of what ha does happen in the end. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go back to eating these snacks. Oh, um, I'm not. I don't know anything about any snacks. Oh. Tisk tisk. So, uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>